Elon Musk's Starlink is finally ready to take on all wireless internet companies. Elon Musk claimed in his tweet that he is now conducting tests of SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet on his private plane. I am testing Starlink on the plane. Some polishing is needed, but it's working quite well. In addition to that, he also mentioned that he works when he is flying on an airplane. So does this mean the end of all other unreliable wireless internet providers? Does it mean it's ready to give you access to the internet anywhere you wish? Let's explore some more. SpaceX has officially confirmed that it has signed its first deal with an airline, Hawaiian Airlines, to provide in-flight wireless internet service using the Starlink satellite network. The announcement was made by the space company competing against other emerging satellite internet companies to put high-speed internet on commercial airlines. The business, owned by Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, has been in discussions for several months with airlines to provide Starlink internet while passengers are in the air. This is a crucial component of SpaceX's strategy to acquire enterprise customers in addition to consumers and households in rural areas around the world that have limited to no access to the Internet. According to a statement released by the charter company, another agreement involves the outfitting of 100 aircraft with Starlink terminals. This agreement is with the semi-private jet service JSX and it will result in the first Starlink-connected plane taking to the skies before the end of the year. According to the statement made by JSX, the Starlink service aboard will be free for JSX passengers. It will not require logging in or any other complications typically associated with outdated systems. The JSX spokesperson who was asked about the price of the partnership declined to answer. Meanwhile, the CEO of US airline Delta Airlines at Bastion stated in a recent interview that the business had been doing exploratory testing to employ Starlink technology on their planes as well. Even though the network is not yet fully deployed, SpaceX provides broadband internet service to thousands of customers in a few countries for $110 a month using a $599 terminal dish that is roughly the size of a pizza box. Since 2019, SpaceX has launched approximately 2,300 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit before applying to the U.S. Federal Communications Commission for the regulatory authority to operate Starlink on airplanes and maritime vessels. SpaceX tested the internet network on a select number of Gulfstream jets and some military aircraft. Musk has stated that one of his goals for the future of the Starlink system is to deploy a satellite constellation consisting of more than 42,000 units. Starlink, the satellite internet service provided by SpaceX's Starlink business, is now also being offered for sale to recreational vehicles. However, the service is not mobile, and other Starlink customers may be given precedence. Starlink for recreational vehicles is accessible for customers who wish to use Starlink when traveling through regions with limited or no other broadband options. The hardware cost is $599, while the cost of the monthly service is $135. In addition to paying taxes, buyers in the United States must pay a delivery cost of $50. The hardware price for European customers is 634 euros plus shipping costs of 71 euros and the service cost is 124 euros a month. Recently, Elon Musk used Twitter to announce the availability of Starlink for recreational vehicles. Still, he also emphasized that the antenna is too big for cars. It will therefore only work with RVs, camper vans, and other large vehicles. Starlink now available for RVs, campers, and other large vehicles users note, antenna too big for cars, Musk tweeted. According to the company, the service also won't work if one is moving while trying to use it. We do not support Starlink use in motion at this time. Using the Starlink kit in motion will void the limited warranty of your kit. While our teams are actively working to make it possible to use Starlink on moving automobiles, RVs, and boats, Starlink is not yet configured to be safely used in this way.
Customers of Starlink for RVs may anticipate high-speed internet connections with low latency in regions denoted as available on Starlink's RV maps. Today, these regions comprise a significant portion of North America, major nations in Europe as well as Britain, and the southern half of Australia and New Zealand. Users will, however, notice significantly slower speeds during hours of peak usage in regions marked as waitlist or during events with numerous co-located users, according to the terms of service. Download speeds for stalling for recreational vehicles should range between 50 and 250 megabits per second, with rates ranging from 5 to 100 megabits per second in places with heavy traffic. There are a few things you might wish to remember about the portability option that residential Starlink customers who already have a registered service address might choose to take advantage of. The portability feature, which was introduced earlier this month, comes with an additional monthly cost of $25 on top of the usual rate of $110. It may cause a reduction in service if it's utilized in especially busy places. According to Starlink's support website, network resources for Starlink for RVs are always deprioritized in comparison to those for other Starlink services. This results in degraded service and slower speeds in busy locations and peak hours. Steady speeds and uninterrupted use of the service are not guaranteed. Service degradation will be most extreme during peak hours in the waitlist areas on the Starlink availability map. You can check out our Starlink specification for expected performance. This suggests that there is currently no waiting for stalling for recreational vehicles in any area where the service is offered. In addition, customers of stalling for RVs have the opportunity to tailor their service packages to meet the specific requirements of their trips. It was stated that the stalling for RVs is immediately shipped and arrives with everything you need in a matter of minutes. Moreover, it was noted that users are required to download the Starlink app from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store to determine the ideal location for the device. Users have the opportunity to test out Starlink for RVs for up to one month and may request a full refund of the charges associated with the hardware if they are unhappy with the services provided by Starlink. According to a tweet sent out by the company, it has been reported that Starlink is now accessible in 32 countries across the globe. Through the official handle of the company's Twitter account, the company has provided a map that identifies the nations in which Starlink is instantly ready for shipment. As can be seen, most countries across Europe are shown on the map as being open for business. It suggests that the necessary hardware to receive bandwidth through the constellation of satellites that Starlink will place into Earth's orbit is ready to ship to these nations and may be obtained without delay. It is essential to note that several nations located in South America, Africa and India are slated to join in the not-too-distant future. On the other hand, Starlink's internet service is expected to become available in the nations shown on the map with the phrase coming soon sometime in 2023. This confirms what Musk announced in a tweet late in 2017 that the business had delivered 100,000 Starlink receiver terminals to various clients. More than 250,000 people use it every day. It is evident that Elon Musk was this audacious effort, including airplanes, recreational vehicles and residences in urban and rural regions that have not previously been connected, is preparing to dominate the market for wireless internet service and drive his competitors out of business. If it was for you, how much would you be willing to pay for a reliable internet connection from anywhere in the world? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.